Hello and welcome to Teach to Learn, the channel in which I teach concepts so you can learn them and I can better understand them. Right now we're going to be learning how to use the destructuring assignment to assign variables from nested objects. This is a lesson from the ES6 module from the JavaScript and Algorithms and Data Structures course from Free Code Camp. So let's dive right in. You can use the same principles from the previous two lessons to destructure values from nested objects. Using an object similar to previous examples, these previous examples and lessons, by the way, I've made videos about, and you can find them on the channel if you haven't checked them out already. So right here, we have a variable called user declared with the const keyword and assigned an upper level object, which contains one property called John Doe. And within that John Doe property, there is a nested object right here, which contains two properties called age and email. Our age property contains a number value of 34, and our email property contains a string value, which represents that person's email. So John Doe at freecodecamp.com for John Doe right here. And then they say, here's how to extract the values of object properties and assign them and assign them to variables with the same name. So we have here a syntax that is very similar to the previous ones we've seen in the previous two videos, I believe. So we have our const keyword right here. Then we open our first set of curly braces and we type in the property that we wish to reference to extract the values from. So we have our John Doe property right here, which contains our age and email properties. So we type in our property's name, John Doe, followed by a colon. And then we open our second set of curly braces and type in the properties names which contain the values that we wish to extract. So we would be extracting the values from the age property and the email property. Finally, the, the user object is referenced using the assignment operator, meaning that we are referencing that this is the, the object that we wish to extract our values from. So what happens here, we copy this code real quick, no, copy this object real quick and the code below so you can see it in action. So we have that and we have this right here. So what essentially happened here is with this syntax, this line of code right here, we extracted the values of our age and email property and created two new variables with the same exact name. So with this line of code right, right here, we created two properties called age and email that contain the values of the age and email properties within our nested object of John Doe. So if we were to go into the console, console log and type in age and email, we would see that we've created two variables which contain exactly the same values as our properties in our nested object. Our age variable contains a number value of 34 and our email property, our email var variable, excuse me, because these are now two new variables, contains a string value of John Doe at freecodecamp.com, which is that person's email. Then they say, and here's how you can assign an object's properties values to variables with different names. So the syntax is the basically the same. We simply type in a colon after each of the property names that we wish to extract the values from with the name of the variable that we wish to be created. So if we have age and email, we can create new variables with the same properties values, but with different names. So for name, let's create a user. First, let's delete the console log contents and user age. And for email, let's call our new variable user email. And if we were to go into the console and type in these two variable names, we will see the two variables have effectively been created that contain our properties values. So let's type in user age into the console. Let's also log user email. And as you can see, we get the same exact values, but stored in different variables, which we've called user age and user email. So now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the challenge. We are tasked with replacing the two assignments with, oh, first let's reset, reset. We are tasked with replacing the two assignments with an equivalent destructuring assignment, which we've just learned about right now. 
it should still assign the variables low today and high today, the values of today.low and today.high from the local forecast object. So right here, before we do anything, we have an object called local forecast, which inside contained three properties. Each property within the object is assigned a nested object. So each property contains an object inside with two properties, which represent the lowest temperature for the day and the highest temperature for the day. We have this for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And then we have two variable assignments that reference the nested objects within our local forecast upper level object. So we have a variable called low today that is declared with the const keyword and that is assigned the value of accessing our local forecast. Then it accesses the today property and then it accesses the low property, which contains a number value of 64. So our low today variable is assigned a number value of 64. The same for the high today variable, but instead of accessing the low property, it is simply accessing the high property through dot notation, which contains a number value of 77. So we need to do the same exact thing in a single line of code using the destructuring assignment. Let's dive right in. First, we use our const keyword. Then we type in our first set of curly braces. So we are referencing the values of low and high contained within the today property. So we type in today followed by a colon and then open our second set of curly braces. And inside we type in the names of the properties that we wish to extract the values from. So first we type in low and we must call it low today. So in order to do that, we simply type in a colon and then give the variable we wish to create the name that we choose. So our variable is called low today. And that part of our challenge is now done. We also need to extract the value of the high property, which is 77. So we simply type in high after our comma and a colon. And then as we did before, we type in the name of the variable that we chose. So in this challenge, we need to name it high today. So high today. And finally, we need to use the assignment operator, which is the equal sign to reference the object that we are extracting the values from the global object was which is called local forecast. So we simply type in local forecast <laughs> in all caps because we it is a const variable. It is declared with the const keyword. So now we've successfully extracted values from a nested object within an upper level object. So we took the values from low and high, the low and high properties, which are contained within the today property within the local forecast object. If we go into the console and type in, excuse me, so console log, the names of the new variables that we created, we will see the values of our properties are contained within those variables respectively. So if we go low today, we will see that our, low, our new low today variable contains a value of 64. Then if we type in, we also log in our high today property into the console. We'll see that our high today property also accessed our nested object and now contains a number value of 77, representing the highest temperature for that day. So our challenge is now effectively done. As you can see right there. And thank you so much for watching. This has been your peer decoding friend, Teach to Learn. And I hope you got something out of the video. If it helped, please consider liking the video and subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. That's it for now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great one.